Hello, my name is Daniel Yuck. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate you, your time, and your support. In today's video, I want to dive into an in-depth review and take a close-up look with you all at this new addition to my book collection here called Wildlife Volume 1. I will go ahead and leave my Amazon affiliate links and other affiliate links for you in the description below so you can check out the gear and this book featured in this video on your end. Should you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below and I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring my bell as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok all under Daniel Yuck. I would appreciate the support over there as well. With that being said, let's get right on into this. Right here is Wildlife Volume 1. This is a new book that I created. This book is specifically designed to help us practice our texture, shading, fine lines, fur, and more. Now, within this book right here, we are going to be greeted with a series of different wildlife designs from like snakes, lions, tigers, elephants, and more. And within these designs here, we are going to be greeted with some tasks that we have to kind of make choices to get through the same way as we would if we we're tattooing. Some of these tasks may consist of us applying fur-like textures. Other may consist of us applying little faint details. Others may be full-blown skin-like textures. So there are various applications and various things that we are going to pick up along the way within Wildlife Volume 1 that we can take with us within our tattooing career. Are you wanting to develop your tattooing skill sets? Now you can practice and develop anytime, any place with an assortment of tattooing workbooks that I've created. With these assorted tattooing workbooks, we can practice our basic lining all the way to advanced lining. We can practice shading, shading placement, dot work, textures, and more. All we are gonna need is a tattoo workbook of mine. We can use a pencil pen. We can even use a tattoo machine with a ballpoint cartridge to develop our tattooing abilities further. That means that we don't need tattoo ink, we don't need napkins or petroleum jelly to get to practicing. Simply open one of my tattooing workbooks and get going. It really is that easy. You can get your hands on one of my developmental tattooing assorted workbooks by simply clicking the links in my description or in the pinned comment section below or navigating on over to amazon.com typing in Daniel Yuck and you'll see all of the assorted tattoo workbooks that I've created come up if you have an Amazon account be sure to follow my Amazon author page as well as I would greatly appreciate your support should you have any questions at all drop them in the comment section down below I will do my best to assist you in the best possible direction with that being said let's get right back into this video Allow me to show you the book outside here and then we'll take a look at some of the designs within the book and then we can test out the performance and how to use it. So this is Wildlife Volume 1, Practice Texture, Shading, Fine Lines, Fur and More. You can see it has a gloss finish. That was the front of the book. Here is the side. This is the spine right here. This is the back. Feel free to pause so that way you can thoroughly read that on your end. Allow me to skim through the book here to show you some of the designs that are included. Here is the first page for Wildlife Volume 1. And you're going to notice that a lot of the designs within Wildlife Volume 1 have a very sort of faint look to them. This is to mimic sort of a stencil. So essentially each page is acting as a stencil and we have to go and plug in different values using gear that we want. So for example, I can use this setup right here. As you can see, I have a ballpoint cartridge to begin to apply these textures. I'm going to share with you more here about how I go about using Wildlife Volume 1. One. But for now, I want to kind of give you an idea as to what you can expect from the designs within the book. And you're going to notice a lot of different fur-like textures. We have leaves, uh, organic matter going on as well. And the entire book is like that from birds, wolves. You can see we have textures right here that we're going to have to learn how to do as well. So this is going to be great if we're going to want to do animal style tattoos. You can see this is a very in-demand tattoo that you probably will get requested along your tattooing career. So knowing how to approach these sort of tattoos beforehand is a great way to go about it. And in order for us to, or a great way that we can learn beforehand is through Wildlife Volume 1. You can see some birds there, a lot of textures, a lot of fur. A lot of various animals and styles here. You can see we have like a silhouette type of style as well. A 
There's plenty of practice here. Here's more for like smooth shading. This is also great to learn stipple shading here. So that right there is a wildlife of volume one. I feel like it's very important to note that whenever we do decide to pick up these workbooks, I also have a volume one, two, and three of the tattoo journal, which are line introduction all the way to advanced volume one, two, and three. We could approach it the same way. Any one of my tattooing workbooks, we can use a pencil, we can use a ballpoint pen of any sort, or we can use a full blown setup as you see me doing here. Here is an ink claw cartridge grip, with the more money tattoo machine and I have a ballpoint cartridge. So this is a full blown ta tattoo setup that I can use to practice within these books here. It's gonna be to each their own. Let's say for example, if you're just starting out and you wanna get the absolute most out of these workbooks, what you can do is use a pencil before you commit, go ahead and practice getting the I guess motions of creating textures and whatever it is you're trying to learn. Once you get a bit more comfortable, you can commit with a pin or a setup like this. My point is we can use a pencil, a pin, or a full blown tattoo machine with a ballpoint cartridge to get some practice in within these tattooing workbooks that I've created for you. The idea for Wildlife of Volume 1, and again, any workbook that I've created, is this. You're gonna wanna find a design that you would like to practice on. So let's say, for example, this first one is gonna be the design that I want to put into motion here and develop with. I have my setup. What I'm gonna do is kind of approach it the exact same way that I would as if I'm tattooing. So let's say if I'm gonna begin this tattoo, then I'm gonna start from this bottom area and then work my way on up. And what I would do is I would begin to apply these textures and everything as I see fit here. I'll switch over to another angle here in a moment so that way you can get a better look and see what I'm doing here. Now, if you were just starting out, what I would recommend doing before you begin to work on any design in the book, whether it's in the middle or the end, you want to get a couple of pieces of blank paper. I would recommend placing it behind the design that you're working on like so. So that way, if you were to break through this paper, we don't damage the design in the back. And then we kind of just repeat that process on any design that we choose. So you can see I'm able to practice various motions that I would need to make to accomplish these sort of textures here. I'm also able to practice my precision, my hand speed and voltage, and overall get acquainted with doing tattoos that don't really have any sort of hard lining going on. There's so many benefits from being able to practice within these workbooks, especially if we're gonna be using a tattoo machine like so. I would recommend if, if and when you get comfortable using a tattoo machine to practice using a machine, However, you can practice any way you'd like though. So you can see, so the idea is within this fainter design, we're gonna go in there and darken it up and saturate it as we would a real tattoo. With a real tattoo, we have typically a purple stencil and then we would go and add the black or colored ink, the exact same concept with these workbooks here. It can help me also, I'm also learning how to kind of plan out these designs a little bit better. So for example, you can kind of see how I'm skipping in different areas. Well, I can kind of collect and then come back this way and finish little areas by little areas until I've completed this area and then move on, which helps me be more organized and consistent. That's a good habit to pick up and take with me. I'm also learning stipple shading, whip shading here, or the techniques here on how to apply it at the very least. There we go. You can see some areas have to use just small fluid-like motions. These are motions that I'm definitely going to remember as I progress here, as they are unique to this specific style of designs. So 
So if you plan on tattooing wildlife designs or any sort of organic designs, even if it's floral, this book will definitely help you out. And you can see this is the idea behind it, just being able to apply this at my own pace without any worries of messing up. If there's ever a place to mess up, it's within these tattooing workbooks right here. Another thing that I really do love about Wildlife Volume 1 and any tattooing workbook that I've created is that we can do this on the go anytime, any place. So let's say if we're going to be at work and today's going to be a slow day, then we can take these with us with our tattooing setup and practice on the go whenever we can as all we have to do is get out our machine pop in our ballpoint cartridge and get to practicing or take out our pen or pencil open the book and get to practicing you get the idea the idea and point is though that it's super easy to get to practicing which is going to contribute to quicker development so you can see here i'm applying textures and I'm learning motions here to make to get this sort of textured look. I can see when I move too fast and I can see when I'm moving too slow. Therefore, fine tuning my approach here. Down here, we have like some sort of like water where different tones are going to be very important over here. I'm running at 5.5 .5 volts right now. So you can see that I'm just using sort of back and forth pendulum like motions to create textures here. We can do this in our living room with our family. We can do this when we're kind of watching our TV shows, listening to music. And I think what's also great about these workbooks that I'm creating is that they really do allow us the opportunity and provide us with that sort of developmental uh, aspect that we're looking for anytime that we're tattooing. However, we're just switching out ink and fake skin for ballpoint cartridge and paper. And also what I'm learning is that less is often more. So I would always think that I have to get to a certain saturation point each and every step of the way. So what I'm also picking up on is that sometimes just one quick layer of a shade is more than enough. And that really allows it to get depth and dimension within my work. So you're also gonna learn and pick up a lot about tonal values and shading placements along the way. Like so. So I can see here is going to be a lighter version of this shade right here. Like so. And that's just one of the many things that I'm picking up on. So you can kind of imagine where I'm doing this throughout the entire workbook after multiple, multiple designs of going through this process. By the time I'm done and completed with this book, there is gonna be a lot of 
progress, there are going to be uh, apparent results that we are going to see the more that we get better and develop. Progression will be inevitable at this point as long as we kind of stick to the regimen and put in that practice and really put our best foot front and figure out ways to resolve issues that we are experiencing along the way. And once again, one of the best places, if not the best place to make mistakes is within these workbooks that I'm creating for you. Let me elaborate a little bit more. So for example, you can see like this nose area has like a bunch of little dots and then this area right here has some saturation going on. And over here we have to do textures. So for example, a lot of these little dot areas, what I'm gonna do is go for the darker ones first and then just simply begin to figure out a healthy technique to apply these areas right here. And this technique is the same technique that I'm going to take with me onto fake skin and human skin. So you can see I'm trying to figure out the results that I get from different motions and techniques. I'm kind of just using a dot kind of stipple motion. So I'll do some dot work and then kind of go back and forth to get that sort of sp sparse and sporadic texture there. And then over here, what I can always do is just simple back and forth motions like this. And then some dot work as you see. I can go darker where I want to go darker and I have areas where I want to be lighter. And these are just constant tasks that I'm going to be greeted with every step of the way within wildlife. And these are the very tasks that are going to allow me to progress at a much quicker rate. And a lot of what I'm learning here is going to be transferred over to fake skin. And then from there, once I develop more of a technique on fake skin with ink and needle, that's going to translate over to human skin. So you can kind of see how we're building up stepping stones. Now let's say if you're already tattooing on fake skin and human skin and you just want to better your abilities within uh, let's say wildlife designs, more organic animalistic designs where we have furs and textures, then this book will be great for you as well. But you can see though that I'm going to repeat this patient and slow process here until I've accomplished or until I've covered this area right here and I'm happy with the results here. Now, I'm just kind of using the design that's there as a guide, and I'm not being exact. However, I am trying to be as accurate as I can without taking from the integrity of the design. I don't want to wing it too much. I just kind of want to follow what's there while using my artistic approach with the techniques. So you can see I'm just doing a little dot works here. Just simply tapping it down like so. If I need it darker in some areas, then I'll go ahead and go back over a little bit, maybe a couple of times like that. Like so. And then for another another example, you can see right here how there is a little like fine line. So that's another great thing that we can learn from wildlife. So you can see here, this line right here is super, super fine. So I'm gonna figure out the healthiest approach that I can take to apply that line while saturating this area that needs to go saturated. So you can see now I'm establishing my boundary so I don't go past this right here. And I'm using it with a similar manner that I was, I'm establishing this boundary in a similar manner that I was establishing all those details, as opposed to just hard lining. And then from here, I'm just gonna go in and start stippling and filling in this area right here, like so, once I've established these boundaries here. So you can see I'm not really using any hard lines. The only line I used was this very fine faint liner right here. And then from here, I can just go ahead and use whip shading to accomplish saturation. Just wanna do this in a very 
gentle and peaceful manner. So I hope by now you can kind of get the idea on how much we are able to benefit from wildlife and my other tattooing workbooks. Here I practice cross hatching as well to smoothen things out. But as you can see, there are many, many benefits from my tattooing workbooks here. I'm just essentially going over the benefits and techniques that we can gain from these workbooks. And this one's again, Wildlife Volume 1. Keep in mind, we would still want to have the approach where we start from the bottom and then work our way on up. But I just feel like I should demonstrate the techniques here in a more timely manner and not put you through the entire session here. I'll go ahead and make time-lapse videos of these sessions as I do them. So you can see though that I'm just practicing techniques and my technical application here. Trying to accomplish some fur textures here that I'm seeing. Just using a series of back and forth motions as you see me doing here while occasionally adding some details.
Some of the main benefits for Wildlife Volume 1 are going to be that it's designed to help us develop our textures, our shading, our shading placements, fine line, and more. When I say and more, I'm talking about stippling. We can also develop our stippling within this book. We can develop our hand speed and voltage. We can get a sense of needle depth. Not only that, but within Wildlife Volume 1, we can practice our cross hatching to cover bigger areas to help smooth out our shading. You can kind of see there are multiple benefits that we can gain from Wildlife Volume 1. Keep in mind, I do have multiple tattooing workbooks and there's probably more available by the time you watch this video. Be sure to check them out on my Amazon author page by clicking the links in the description below or in the pinned comment. The idea would be to be able to learn these fundamentals and make all of these mistakes on paper so that way we can go more equipped on over to fake skin. Once we master everything that we learn within these tattooing workbooks on fake skin, then I feel we're more equipped to handle human skin you can kind of get the idea, kind of the stepping stones to this sort of progression. That right there is Wildlife Volume 1. This is a tattooing workbook that's designed to help us practice our texture, shading, fine lines, fur, and more anytime, any place on the go. That would be it for this review right here. Should you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. Rest assured, I'm going to do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I will be leaving my Amazon affiliate affiliate links and other affiliate links for you in the description below so you can check out the gear that was featured in this video and this book on your end. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for me as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok all under Daniel Yuck. I would appreciate the support over there as well. With that being said, I thank you for your time and I appreciate you watching. You have a great day. Are you needing or wanting tattoo guidance? What about 4K high quality step-by-step -step follow along tattoo sessions? Or maybe one-on-one -on -one tattoo support to get answers to your questions that are specifically tailored to your wants and needs as the artist. You can now become a Patreon where you will gain access to high quality 4K exclusive step-by-step -step follow along tattoo sessions. I will be tattooing with you in a one-on-one step-by-step -on -one -step manner where I will be explaining what I am doing and why every step of the way. I will also be doing this in a high quality 4K format for your optimal viewing experience. On top of the one-on-one -on -one support and on top of the step-by-step -step tattoo session guidance, you will also gain access to exclusive tattoo stencils that you can download and place on your end to further develop your skill sets. I will leave a link for you in the description or in the pinned comment section below, or you can head on over to patreon.com forward slash Daniel Yuck. When you become a Patreon, you will be getting one-on-one -on -one support where you can ask me as many questions as you'd like that are specifically tailored to your wants and needs as the artist you will gain access to exclusive tattoo stencils that you can download and practice on your end. You'll also gain access to exclusive high quality 4K footage where I walk you through each and every tattoo session in a one-on-one -on -one step by step manner where I explain all the what's and why's along the way. Become a Patreon today. Thank you for your support in advance. I greatly appreciate you.